Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Settlement Survival. It's your friend Sarmate here. Hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. My day's going pretty well. Um, we just got a couple things going on here in our little town. So, I uh, first of all, I started to put in a bunch of new houses up here because we had a bunch of people who wanted new houses, these citizens right here. And as I was doing so, I got a notification as soon as this merchant ship pulled up that we got new livestock. Now, the ship pulling up don't, doesn't have anything to do with the livestock. I didn't order anything. I don't have any, any way to do so. Uh, but we did get buffalo. You can see right here. And we go livestock. We got some buffalo. So we absolutely, positively are going to do uh, a dang old pasture right away and get some buffalo working. Uh, because that plays very, very well into what I wanted to do today. So we'll get this uh, queued up, get built. We are hurting so badly for people again. Zero temporary workers. Uh, I've had to move most of the people out of the farm. I uh, had a comment that said, it's beginnings at least, that people do pretty good with having only one person in the fields apiece. So that's what I did. It seems to be working okay. I have I just, just started the printing factory making us ink for books. And I have another one on the way, but we're missing some planks. And it's just a, you know, it's a tumble effect with all the people we don't have. Um, I think part of it is when you start, when you build a school, there's like a bulk of citizens that start to go to school, like this is five here. So instead of like when they grow up, they're just going straight to the workforce, they're going to school, so it takes longer. And I think it's more of like a, a wave instead of just trickling in. But we do have immigrants nearly here, so that's going to be great once they arrive. Uh, so as far as the things we're going to do today, so the buffalo, I think I had mentioned uh, in the last episode or re previously that uh, we need the fats from the buffalo meat to do lighting. And you need to do lighting to do anything else really in the mine. So if we go down here, we need construction lighting. We want to do this so we can get silver, so we can get the mint and do all that stuff so we can start making ourselves some silver coins as well as grocery store under trade here. So that, that's the first thing we're going to grab today. We're going to go grocery store. And then we're going to go lighting. We'll get that ready. And for our last point, I, I was really considering going down to corral tree, this whole tree right here, to get the buffalo into the pa uh, corrals. But as you can see right here and right here, we need processing knitting for a lot of this stuff. So let's go processing and we're going to grab knitting for the final one. And this is going to give us the knitting workshop. And that's going to give us some rope and fishnets, if you remember that from the previous playthrough from reeds and we do have reeds going uh, i don't know how many we have i can't imagine that many right now uh, it's been running but not for very long and not with a lot of people in it uh, but we still have 2000 reeds so that's really really good uh, another tip that somebody said was hey you should put in a tailor workshop right by your reeds to make shoes and remember you can make shoes from reeds so that's what we're going to do over here it's nearly built but again people problem so we can't really uh, get it working right away, but it's it's in the works. I'm very, very excited about the buffalo just, just happening up, uh, happening to appear. It did say Hunter has found a buffalo. So I think I talked about that in the last episode. I wasn't really, un I was unsure of what triggers that. I'm still not sure what triggers that. It seemed to be kind of random. I have Bella and Ellen here working as a hunter and I've had three hunters in here. Oh, I want to say from like the first episode, maybe episode two, we've had a lot of hunters like the whole time for that reason, partially. So the, uh, the buffalo are going to be so, so nice to have. They're going to let us do leather. They're going to let us do the fats. They're going to be an extra food source. It's just it's great, 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 great thing that we have. So I'm going to get three ready to roll and those are absolutely going to be buffalo. We are going to actually have to have one pasture start with some buffalo and we'll raise them for a while and then we'll have a, a handful of buffalo and then we can divide those into these other um, pastures over, over here maybe we'll do a goose first so that we can make some use of it but definitely want them to be buffaloes for sure and um, we did just get another development point and because we got that um that processing one i think we should go with the exploration technology one and grab this mining stuff so we can move into silver uh, we can't quite do silver yet, but next point, maybe we'll do that. And then we can really start to get cooking. But now we have our immigrants. Not quite yet. Very, I, like momentarily, I would think. Let's get this grocery store working. And we, since we have, well, we're going to have books. I think that will be awesome to have books in the grocery store. And I think that would be a good thing to sell to the people. I'm not really sure 
how much we're going to like how much they're worth but i can't i can imagine that they're pretty good pretty decent because it takes a lot to get books we'll grab those people before they leave and it looks like we got somebody who's sick and what did you bring to my town cholera i believe cholera was underneath education medical cholera boom awesome speaking of which quality of life hospital again construction home textile that's gonna be a little bit we we could actually go down this way maybe we'll do that once we get our silver started and we can we can have all the diseases covered and then we won't have to worry about that anymore it's gonna be a great great load off so we'll do that let's go around and we'll check to see what buildings need some more people in we'll check our resources and all that fun stuff so this just got built let's go ahead we will grab our reed straw shoes go ahead elijah and get to work on that if you would please uh, looks like this is calling for people, but we don't have anybody else. I mean, with 2,000 reeds, I'm going to let it just ride for now. That's a ton of reeds, and we aren't doing a ton with them yet. Um, somebody mentioned that these guys being close together was going to be harmful to their efficiency. Probably. That was a good good point. I'm glad they pointed that out. Uh, you know what I would rather have here than a fishing dog is probably a bridge to go across to this other area. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to demolish this here structure and that's going to go bye bye. And then we'll do a bridge across. I also would like to get maybe some people working on a ferry. So then uh, we can order some seeds, maybe some corn or some wheat or something. Uh, I wanted to do it initially so we could buy buffalo, but we don't have to do that anymore. So that's super exciting. I'm very hype about buffalo. You can't tell. <laughs> we got our furnace burden, furnace burden factory working hard. Over, we got up, up to a thousand. That's great. Uh, smelter is at 200 steel. Let's up this to 500. We're going to start to slowly get into that type of stuff and things. Um, let's see. Kiln factory is, is going 500 here. Where did we have our guy who was making us planks? Was it? Oh, that's right here. The sawmill. So we'll switch this back to planks timber. And this will add another person to try and keep up. Now that we have a little and eh, we don't really have a backlog. We are in the middle of winter, though. Uh, maybe we put in another sawmill and we fo and that's just the focus of more planks. I think that would be a good idea. And we can put that right here. And of course, we're going to need a road if we're going to do that. Uh, we'll do so like that. Boom, boom. Might have to adjust this road depending on what else I decide to put in here, but that'll work for now. Let's see what else have we got lit up over here. Oh yeah, the knitting workshop and the lighting factory. So let's do the lighting factory one for now. I'm just gonna let the one get built and then if we need to have another one we'll put it right next door right here uh, but we'll grab our knitting workshop in the meantime Ooh, we look at that they fit perfectly in here okay well we'll put a couple in here and uh, we'll do two for now that's great uh, i'm glad that that fits in there so nicely and then we could have another workshop right there things are coming together pretty good so let's add another builder i think uh, another thing that i'm considering is adding another vendor because we expanded out this way so much more but we don't have the houses built yet so i guess it's kind of pointless to do that immediately so we'll just hold off oh yes and we have our mine and our open mines over here all right we got more peeps that just arrived and joined the town we're up to 11 temporary workers we got our knitting workshops completed we're making rope on one side and nothing on the other i'm just holding off for now i want to get to read baskets uh, I don't have that unlocked yet, so I'm just built it. It's just hanging out. It's fine. Now, these two are paused. The lighting factory, the lamp oil, as I knew, needs fat. Now, what I had forgotten, however, was that you cannot get fat without having this research right here. Meat processing unlocks the butcher, which produces fat and chunk of meat. So let's get that guy. And we'll have to put this in and we'll have to wait for that guy to get built and then and then we'll have the fats and i wanted to put this close to the sources over here but it doesn't really look like that's gonna work that's okay we'll just put a we have a spot up here for it now you can see here we got some red cells all over the place uh, I, I missed it we we are in trouble with tools so i put in an advanced blacksmith right here that's getting worked on as you can see it's nearly completed i have only been making stone tools up until this point i believe so what i wanted to do was make some iron tools with this new blacksmith i'm really considering putting in another blacksmith to make more tools and uh, eventually we'll get this hand card but we're a little ways off so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put iron tools in here we did have a mine in now that we are getting iron from right here 
So we'll have the iron resources. It's just going to, I don't know. We'll just take a second until we can get our tools back up and running. Um, and I can't import just yet. I don't have anybody working the docks. However, check this out. 11,000 silver coins. Our first grocery store over here, I decided to do ink, paper, shoes, books, clothes, and spirits. I, I was under the suspicion that books would be pretty valuable, and they are. Look at that, 30 coins a piece. Everything else is okay. You know, not, not bad. Now, I, I don't know if ink and paper will be purchased by the citizens. I, you know, my thought was like, oh, maybe they want to practice their calligraphy or something. But I don't know if that's actually a thing. So I put them in there and well, I have to keep, keep an eye on it and see if they get purchased and used up. If not, whatever. And then over here again, we have our other grocery store with a, the same things. I, I didn't have shoes over here, which I thought was interesting uh, in this list. Oh, there they are. Just not enough, I guess. So the remember, this is the reeds are produced here. They go right here for the shoes and somehow they don't make it all the way over or they don't make it to this grocery store, but they make it all the way over here first. So kind of weird. If you have a real keen eye, you may have noticed that our roads are now upgraded to laid stone road. I was very careful this time to not do laid stone ground. So now we have real speedy workers. They have the shoes. They have the nice roads. Everything's coming together. And here is our advanced blacksmith. We got Francis working over here. Iron tools are probably going to take a little bit longer to create, but they're better than stone tools as far as it looks like in efficiency and uh, durability. It's an, it's an upgrade, of course. And then steel later down the line will be better than iron tools. Oh, I, I, I did realize that I do have steel. I could be making some steel tools as well. Maybe we would do that. So our butcher is almost complete. I'm going to uh, up the priority and it looks like we are running out of regular old stone. So I'm going to go around and We'll pick some up. Maybe we need a quarry. Let's start the quarry working. That'd be great. This is totally off, off topic, uh, off subject as well. You know how the first thing you get is flax seeds. I was listening to uh, an audiobook and they were talking about how the first civilization, one of their key things was uh, textiles. So I thought that that was cool. Maybe when I was listening to that, I, it made me think of uh, this game and that our flax seeds are one of the first things that we get to make textiles and linens and stuff. And I thought that was cool that it was reflected in the real world as well that flax was super important for textiles and getting things off the ground for civilization. So that's pretty cool. And then let's see what we got here. This is nearly completed. They're getting hammered up right now. We'll get the butcher working. The fats are going to start happening. Then we're going to start getting lighting and then we can start really getting into some good stuff here. I did grab, I did have one more development point. So I went down a little bit further. We got the upgrade toilets. And remember we have to import these. Uh, they're very expensive. They're like 3,500 a piece. And home textiles is next. Can't quite get there yet. We're waiting on our development point. But that is going to allow us to get into hospital stuff. And then I'm not sure if the pharmacy is going to require something else. But we'll get that going as well. Then we'll be all set. We are also going to need to get ourselves some herbs. So I think this is going to be the tree after that, which will go down. We'll start getting that stuff hammered out. And then while we're down there, we might as well grab forest farms because those are so good. All right, our butcher is complete. Alice, let's work in there. So we have our buffalo meats. We'll do that. And uh, like I mentioned, we'll do a couple more. We'll do a couple people here to make this a uh, little bit more speedier. And it looks like our printing factory is currently stalled out. It's like we're waiting on paper. Oh, yes, that was what I was going to do. As soon as I get some more people, I'm going to add in more people in the paper mill because we have a lot of things that are demanding paper now and it just can't quite keep up. Uh, and while we're thinking about it, let's go here and we'll see if we have enough books to upgrade. We need 50. Uh, I'm not really sure how many we have. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, we got zero. And I just noticed since I'm up here, our water is really, really low. Did look recently and we are, we, we are, yeah, see we're producing 28,000 and we're using 26,000. Now that things are starting to use water to make things like paper, it's and demand more. So instead of people just needing it to drink, they need it to do things with. Uh, so maybe we'll do a couple more, we'll do a couple more wells around town. Another great thing to get is this clean water guy here. The water comes in like crazy once you get that built. Maybe we'll do that before anything else. I would like to get the construction of the home, the home textiles working, but we'll maybe we'll just off and we'll do clean water next. Uh, to satisfy this demand for water. We got people that are graduating school, which is great. That's more efficient workers, remember, and replacing people that are passing away and all that other stuff. We have three temporary workers. Not, not, you know, I'd like to have a few more, but I think we're doing better, much better with the temporary workers this time around. We have a few fats ready. Now, I wanted fats for 
I don't know if I mentioned this. The reason why I wanted fats was because I'm, I'm kind of health obsessed right now. I want to get, like I said, just a second ago, I want to get the hospital. I want to get the pharmacy. Uh, I want to get the upgrades for the bathhouse, which is the medicinal soap. And the, you get that with herbs. So that's going to also be tying into moving down the agriculture line and grabbing the nursery and herb knowledge and growing ourselves some herbs so we can make some medicinal soap. We will have the sparkliest, most cleanliest, most best smellingest people around and they're going to be healthy and we'll have all the hearts that we can have and it's going to be fantastic and amazing. That's going to be for a later episode. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next episode of Settlement Survival.